mark in the title of your presentation, Create or Kill Curiosity? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A big challenge for most presenters is how do I title my speech? What should the exact title be? The problem I see is that far too many titles give away the ending, so there's no suspense or curiosity in the presentation. Whenever I'm working on my own presentation or helping clients, I suggest that we keep the title or working on the title to the very end. Many times it'll just jump out at us. Give it a working name or title, but don't, don't put too much emphasis on it in the beginning. Get the message down, work on the delivery, and the title often will reveal itself. With that said, how should you structure your title so you create curiosity and not kill it? Here's an example from one of my early speeches. It was called, Find Your Mud Puddle. When you hear that, what do you think of? Probably a mud puddle, right? Other than that, what do you think of? When I ask this question in workshops and seminars, people say, well, what do you mean, find your mud puddle? And that's the point. I want them to ask that question, what do you mean? What's this about? I want some curiosity. This speech was all about a lesson that I learned from my then three-year-old son, Brendan. This was a very difficult time in my life. Our home life was extremely difficult, very tumultuous. One day, I absolutely lost my cool. I threw a major fit in all candor, went out into my backyard, and at one point, I saw my son, three years old, jumping in a mud puddle. And the longer I watched him, the more I realized something. That was his stress relief. He had to find something to relieve the tension he was feeling in our household. From that, I developed a message and a story about how my audience could find stress relief. I could have titled this, in fact, the early version of it was, Find Your Stress Relief. What does that title convey? You're going to show me how to relieve my stress. Is there any curiosity? No. Is there a chance my audience will check out with that kind of title? Yes. Why? Because they've heard other ways to relieve stress. When audiences think they've heard it before, there's a chance they'll check out on you. Even though I had a unique and creative way of relieving stress, that title increases the likelihood that they won't even listen because they'll think, oh, I've heard it before. This is an area where you should definitely get outside opinions. Again, we're too often too close to our stories. Same thing holds true with our titles. Get other people's opinions. Do some testing. Try different things. But don't give away the ending in your title or else you could kill all the opportunity to create curiosity in your audience. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.